Um, how would you how would you put that in like elevator pitch? Like what your algorithm is going to do? For, well, uh, I mean it's self-explanatory. You have twenty-seven papers published on the subject. Each one of the paper consists of five hundred to a thousand words. We could di we could sit and dis right. dissect each paper separately. So it's 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 each chapter attacks certain aspect of the algorithm's flow with, with a high level of specificity. So there's one paper I'm centered on primarily derivational and flexional morph morphology, prefix, suffix, infix, circumfix, right? In terms of like uh, the word blackbird, blackbird as one as a compound word, blackbird separated by a hyphen and mm -hmm. blackbird with a space. And the, the, the search engines, algorithms, inability to differentiate or these three definitions. It's sort of, it's unequivocal. It disambiguates the meaning when the, the, the variances of the ambiguity itself should actually be augmented. So this is a project I'm pitching for major cooperation. I'm kind of behind time in it because there's a number of different areas that kind of explore in these areas, which one is primarily natural language generation. And there's a number of different big stuff happening. So I'm kind of behind time. But I'm focused on a tiny little niche. So go ahead, ask me whatever you want. Right, because I was just going to highlight that you made a vaguely inexplicable definition. Right, so you could apply it in any context. Yeah. So I would like to just deviate from this stuff again. Again, just for clarification, I don't build algorithms. The algorithm is centered around um, computer programming languages yeah. and mathematical These equations. are just your observations, your... These are computational inputs to augment its effect because this algorithm is, 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 is predicated on language, it uses language inputs and outputs. Right, because when you do when you do a search and you type in the word um, when you type in the word bad, right? It's bad actually is a paradox. You have the denotational and you have the connotational meaning of a word. Denotational is the fundamental meaning. Connotation is how the word evolved and take on taken on a new definition as society evolved as a collective group. And bad is a sort of paradoxical word because bad has negative connotation. But it's, and this, this has to do now with the sociological aspect of uh, linguistics. In certain cultures, bad is deemed as an as a, as a, as a optimistic term. Like, I'm hey, bad. Yo, that's I'm like bad. Right. I'm right. Michael Jackson. Mom. Right. Michael Jackson created this sort of um, paradox. Right. Like, yo, that's a badass shoe. Mm -hmm. Right. Algorithms can't discern, differentiate. It un unequivocates that. It doesn't understand stuff like paradox. So what is required for these things is a, a sort of, a set of, and I create a set of computational inputs, right, that will convert into equations of programming language, which I know a little bit of C plus and, uh, which is a different uh, subject altogether. How to convert these languages, right, to create these inputs. So it could be more, so an algorithm could primarily be more efficient. When you do searching, searching it's more efficient. Right, so. so okay. But you back to our subject with us on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> I'm gonna talk my ass off on this show. Oh yeah, you're doing a, 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 a fine job at it. Yeah, so good. And it's a great ass. So. I have a great ass. Two for yeah. I have a great ass. And you're talking it off. So. Oh, oh okay. That's how I know is you talked it off. So I'm looking yeah, at it yeah. right here. So. Um, okay, so you're really knowledgeable about. Um, Linguistics and stuff like that. I, I can tell that you like you have a great intellectual understanding I of that. I wouldn't say so. I think I've only, you know, again, I think knowledge and the acquisition of information is, is always a paradoxical experience because the more you experience, is the less you feel like you know. So I'm sort of in a very humble state because I only feel like I've scraped the surface. Each one of these papers I've written, right, will take decades to evolve. Mm -hmm. It's a ev con continuous evolving process. I think what I have done has started a sort of, I don't know if revol revolution is an appropriate term, right? But I think it's something that will, would be integrated into post-humanism. 